Well, boys, it's another day back out here at Elevated AF, and this week is going to be a busy one. So my hotshot driver came back with two new trucks for us to uh, take a look at this morning and turn into something hopefully cool. First one we got here is this 2020, I think it's a 2021 or 2022 limited F450 Dually. This thing is an absolute beast of a truck as it sits stock. And uh, we're going to actually turn this into a new shop hauler because our current one is uh, leaving. I'll explain more about that in a minute. Next up here, we got this 2015 Chevy Dern. Max kind of a done up truck as it is as we kind of bought it here but uh we're gonna strip everything off this truck pretty much and it's gonna get lifted crazy high higher than anything else we have sitting in the lot today now the reason why I brought in another truck for us to uh turn into a shop hauling truck is because our fifth gen is actually leaving today had a buyer reach out for it and uh this was also limited but it's a it's a dodge or a ram whichever you want to call it and i absolutely love this one but uh when the opportunity presents itself sometimes you got to sell them so this chevy here is actually going up onto the four post because we got to strip out the entire suspension on this thing to make room for some even bigger suspension and that front end sits low yeah something about that ain't right i'm not too sure good thing we're taking it out of there so this 450 build we've actually been waiting on a truck for for a while now so we already have all the parts we've just been trying to find the perfect truck and we happened to find it right as our other one sold which was good now we were going to make this one actually a flat bed but we decided against it because the bed just provides more uses for it and if you ever want to resell it usually with the 450 you kind of want the bed still on it kind of depends what kind of application you're going for but since that thing's a limited you still want the bed on it if it was like an xlt or something i'd just uh probably put a flatbed on it we just had a customer pull up with a couple of trucks actually now this customer has been waiting on his build for a while now we've just been trying to procure the parts which is a little easier said than done but we finally have them and this thing is ready to go it is a 2000 i want to say 19 or 18 can't remember off the top of my head but uh that's what the grill's kind of going for there f-250 platinum it is all blacked out and we're kind of going with an all blacked out style build on this he also has this uh shelby f-150 absolutely love the shelby f-150s if they're done right and this one he wants it wrapped black so uh we're gonna do that for him throw some uh chrome striping on there for him as well and i think we're blacking out a couple things on his trailer or maybe not it'd be cool to get some aftermarket wheels on this thing but trailers that's a little easier said than done so i can't really do too many aftermarket upgrades although one for elevated af would be cool at some point i'll have one anyways this thing's just gonna sit in the corner until our wrap guy gets here and then he can work on this thing and these sit low man it is gonna be a week for the fords well not entirely we still have the chevy in here but uh mostly fords just gotta move this guy's trailer to a better spot he parked it right in the middle of my laneway so not only is the dually leaving this week but the 70s ford the one that we found in uh property i bought not too long ago this one's leaving as well hate to see it go this thing's really flipping cool however we are getting a tad low on shop space so it's nice to clear up some room i just hate to sell this truck ah it was such a cool build so since my new property that i bought not too long ago actually has some shop space we're gonna go uh take the r8 over there sick of it taking up room in the uh main workshop there we go I actually got to clean this place up a little bit. That's a project for the weekend, though. Well, it's been a couple days here. Guys have been cranking on builds in the shop, but look what finally came back. My personal truck. The one that I have absolutely no turning radius on. By the way, if you guys want to actually see the real life version of this truck, go check out my Instagram, Austin Mostly Farmer. You'll see lots of it there. Okay, so I got a bit of an interesting call here. Uh, that old, I think it's a Chevy mud truck that's been sitting out front of our lot for, I don't know, the past couple of weeks or months here. The guy wants me to deliver it to him and ASAP. And my hauler guy, my hotshot guy, is out of town here. Uh, which, which truck should I take to haul it to him? take the dodge yeah we'll take the uh we'll take the other dodge that truck's ready to go it's also out of the dealership so a little bit easier to get out anyways he told me he wanted it asap sent the wire transfer over so i'm not sure what the rush is but he wants it and he wants it now as long as it's paid for that's all i care and crap i forgot God, this truck does not work with that gooseneck, but this truck will. I know, I know you're saying, Austin, you've got a shop full of diesel trucks. Why would you ever use the Tesla Cybertruck for anything? Well, that a full charge is ready to go. You know what? It'll work for this short haul. At least I hope it will. We'll see if we run out of battery. Well, it's a pretty good thing I have a new mud truck waiting to replace this one in a couple days or weeks, depending on how long it takes. I can't drive up that. I'm gonna have to get the ramps out. Okay, we're all loaded up. Let's roll. Well, that's unfortunate. Cybertruck is out of battery 
battery. I should have seen this coming. Well, 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 would you look at that? Your come and swapped brother is here to rescue you. I had to call one of the guys from the shop. Apparently they grabbed a customer's trailer and I'm towing a trailer. I, I, I don't know how this is gonna go. Well, that'll do. Not sure if this is legal exactly, but it's working. We gotta make some real extra wide turns for this. Well, I hope you know I am never taking you to deliver a truck again. In fact, I should just return the dang thing. Now that I can return this one, probably avoided the warranty. See this hitch? This is not a Tesla approved hitch. This is the only thing that would ever void the warranty on this car. So it's been a couple days here and the guys have knocked this entire build out. And I gotta say, it came out looking Killer. So this is obviously a customer setup. Uh, we had to knock this one out awfully quick because uh, they needed it back sooner and later. So we of course did that. We blacked out everything on this truck. Installed, I think this is like an 18 inch striker off-road kit. Put some Liberty Forged wheels on there. I think these are 30s on 44s. Fury tires, trigger front bumper, Morimoto headlights and taillights. And then his Shelby F-150, we have wrapped it in this black and chrome wrap. And this is the exact setup he wanted. I sent to some pictures along the build process and uh, the guy is absolutely happy with it. So he should be here to pick it up in a little bit, but the other builds we're working on here, I still got a little bit, but this thing turned out so freaking crazy. I absolutely love it. Well, it's been roughly another week here, but the guys have gotten the builds knocked the heck out. And this is what they came up with here. So the Chevy build, we're still waiting on some space for sports so we can actually make it a bit wider. We just couldn't get him in time, but this thing is absolutely massive and it's made to be a mud truck. It's, it's not really a show truck. It's made to be more of a mud truck. We've got some crazy fabrication gone into this one. In fact, we pulled the whole frame out of this truck, welded a brand new one, did a bunch more work to this thing and it still has a bit more to go, but uh, this is about where it's going to stand for now. It's going to be the dealership's new uh, center show piece, I guess. Now this one, the F450, this got a pretty decent overhaul. We were going to wrap it, but we painted it a brand new color. And I got to say this, just the tan and the red, man. Only other thing we're waiting on for this is the bags, but uh, for now, it'll be fine. Fully custom fab lift with uh, track bars, all that good stuff. JTX forged wheels, Fury tires, full dually setup just looks killer on this thing. And this is going to be one of the new uh, tow rigs we've got for the shop but I had better get this one out front. By the way, massive shout out to Cooper Mods for the uh, Chevy. I'll have his Patreon link down in the description. And another shout out to Wheelman Fab for this dually. I'll have his Patreon link down in the description as well. He makes some really cool stuff along with Cooper Mods. But hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe and goodbye.